Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good holiday season and a good New Year's. It's actually December right now, but I know that this is gonna be releasing on the first, so happy New Year. So we switched around some videos and today I wanted to do another shorty video, so we'll see if that actually happens. I know sometimes I talk for too long and then it ends up being a full length video anyway. But what I wanted to talk about today is the count off feature in Pro Tools. So let's start by talking about what a count off is. And I know a lot of you guys probably already know this, but I wanna make sure that we're on the same page. So basically having a count off makes it so that, for example, if you start recording at the beginning of the session, then Pro Tools will use the metronome, so you know, using the click track, to count off however many bars you requested. And that's before actually starting to record at the beginning of the session. So this is great because it gives time for the musicians to get into the beat of the song before the recording begins, so that when the recording does begin, they can then jump right in and be on beat. So I'm pretty sure you'll need to have a click track before you can even use the count off feature. So to set up to use this, you'll just have to make sure that you've made a click track. So just go to track and then choose create click track. You'll also wanna make sure that you've set the tempo properly for your session, which I believe I covered in another video. So I'll make sure to add a card for that video at the top of the screen here. So then you'll just wanna make sure that the metronome button is actually active in Pro Tools. So that button's right up here at the top right corner. So you can go to this button or you can also press the seven on the numeric keypad and that's actually the same as pressing this metronome button here. So I'm pressing seven here on my numeric keypad and you can see it going active and then deactive. So active, deactivated. And if you don't see this section here, just know that if you go to this drop down here, it's gonna be the MIDI controls. See that? So then you're all set up and you're ready to make your count off. So to turn on the count off function, all you have to do is press the count off button on the screen or press eight on the numeric keypad. So once the button is lit up, you know that the count off feature is active. And once it's lit up green like this, this is active and then this is deactive. So this is the count off being on, which is kind of weird because the word off's in it, right? And this is the count off being off. So once that button is lit up, you know that the count off feature is active. So once it's on, there's a bit of customization that you can do with this count off feature. So the setting that I'm always accessing for this feature is the one that dictates how many bars the count off clicks for. So you can adjust this by either clicking on the count off amount that's displayed to the right of the count off button and then adjusting it that way, or by going to setup and then choosing the click slash count off options and changing it that way. There are also other options here that I could go into, but I think this is actually a really good stopping point. And this is only supposed to be a shorty video anyway, but maybe just know that there are other options here as well. So for example, you can set it so that the count off counts off for recording only and not for playback. And that's actually how I like things since you usually just want the count off for actual tracking. So I usually do have this checked off, but it's kind of a personal preference thing. I just find that in general, we don't want this count off for actual playback. So it'll drive you kind of mad, right? And it wastes a lot of time if you don't need it to have it counting off three bars before it plays back every time, right? But yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys found this useful and please let me know what you think in the comments below. So thanks for watching guys. As always, if you like this video, please check out my other videos or do all those things that people on YouTube love. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you wanna support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon and that's at patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. And that's about it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay.